Welcome to another video of the Crafting Ant. Today we are looking at a new colony that I secretly already had for some weeks. Something you can see right away is that they are polymorphic, which means that they are different size workers. This species does not have any majors, and they are called Campanotus lateralis. Let's start with the unboxing and welcome our new friends. I bought the colony from AntsInkMania.com. They are a company based in the Netherlands and they sell everything for ants, including some nice 3D printed nests. So go take a look, the link is in the description. There is also a nice community that communicates through a WhatsApp group where you can get lots of information and great deals. I also ordered some sugar water. And to make sure that the ants make the trip, you can add a heat pack to your order. As you can see, we have a nice couple of workers. So let's give them a nice starting setup. I took the standard corridor and placed two connectors, one for the ants and one for a water tube. Then I thought it would be easy, but let's just say that I'm happy that they don't bite or sting. I might need to make an extra size for this. Always have your cotton at the ready. There was a lot of movement in the tube. Even the queen started wondering. And I hoped that they would move to the water tube. But they had other plans. This is the corridor a bit later. Do you see? Who's wandering there? The Queen. So what they were saying was the tube was not good enough. So I thought, what about the mess nest? At first there was no interest. Then there was some exploring. So I put the lid on and I waited. And in the end, there she goes. As you can see, they feel right at home and started to make a really nice mess. There is all kinds of rubbish in the corridor and because of their numbers, it's hard to clean. So again, it's time for the next step, an outworld. As a real Dutch guy, I bought a cheese box. I wanted a connection from the bottom, so it gives the feeling of a hole in the ground. So that is what I crafted. Some printing, a bit of drilling, milling, and this was the result. To access it, I made a lid in the lid and filled that with a mesh for ventilation. Okay, let's decorate. First the sand, 
it's a dark ascent out of my backyard and I boiled it for safety. Now it's time to hydrate it a bit. Place some wood that we know from the acorn ends. Then some nice blue rocks. In this last one, I drilled a small hole to use as a drinking spot. Then I prepared for the move. I wanted to keep the mesh nest and the water tube. To control the ants, I constantly placed blinds or put parts in the outgrowth. All in all, it was going pretty smooth. And this is the result. Time to put the lid on with an escape barrier and we're done for now. And now you would think, look at them, exploring the art world this video is done. But no! I left the camera rolling, but they had to change the view because they started hollowing out a piece of the wood. Campanodas like to nest in wood, but I did not expect this to happen. It's really nice to see how they take it out and then scatter it all around the outworld. world. And slowly but surely, more and more of the ants moved in. This is a recap of about 26 hours. In those 26 hours, somewhere 
the queen did move from the mesh nest to the wood, but I was not able to find it. This is the setup now. I just watered the outworld a bit, but the ants are very active. They still use the mesh nest as a kind of satellite nest and get their water from the water tube. They actually made an extra exit on the top of the wood. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And I'll see you next time at the Crafting End.